the Garden of Ban Ban series, one of the... Uh, the video game franchises of all time. From riveting gameplay like Fly the Drone, into the button, and iconic character designs like Jumbo Josh, Stinger Flynn, the <laughs> Appealer Bird, <laughs> truly, in the world of mascot horror and gaming in the year of our Lord 2023, nothing holds a candle to the Garden of Ban Ban series. However, what happens when we take peak gaming off of something that looks like this and load it up on a far more superior video gaming device? A piece of equipment that spits in the face of RTX 4090s the world over. What if I download and play all of the Garden of Ban Ban games on, uh, this? My iPhone. Now's a better time than ever to subject myself to a tiny bit of Ban Ban flavored torture. Now, look, yeah, all jokes and funny hahas aside for a moment. As we all know, mobile gaming. Uh, the App Store is filled with absolutely trash, terrible shit video games. Video games. Besides being available to download on Steam, the Garden of Batman games are also on the App Store. They're mobile games. And for a while now, as a certified Garden of Batman speedrunner, I've had this itch to play, point at my screen, and laugh at all of the mobile shot in the Batman game. Well, all of the Garden of Batman mobile games that exist right now in this current moment of time. By the time I release this video, there's probably gonna be like 10 million more of these games. The Euphoric Brothers, they pump these games off the showroom floor. But hey, now that the fourth game has just been unleashed into our world and I've completed my refund speedrun of it. This is not your battle. Where's Jumbo Josh? I spent real world money buying these games on my phone. Genuine. The least you could do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the Discord server. Jesus Christ. Oh, and by the way, I've got an announcement at the end of this video. So, yeah, watch all of the video. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Garden of Ban Ban 1 mobile 80% no-hit speedrun. This speedrun took years off of my life. Now, there's a gaming-related question I want to ask you here, person watching this video. What do you think is the most important thing within a video game? Is it storyline? Is it gameplay? Is it graphics? I'll give you five seconds to work it out. Like, really use your brain here. Controls. You could make the best video game ever seen in human history. Your storyline could single-handedly change the way we as homo sapiens consume media. Your game could look exactly like real life. But if your game controls badly, no one's gonna want to play it, like, at all. So, I'm really happy to announce that God and Obama 1 Mobile's controls are... Absolutely dog shit. Like most other mobile games, you press the button on screen, you do the thing. But in Garden of Ban Ban Mobile, sure, you have to press a few buttons to control your. Oh, uh, character. I don't actually know who you play as in Garden of Ban Ban 1. Map Pack Game 3, please explain it to me. But these buttons, they'll keep you guessing. They'll never let you know the next move. They've become ungovernable because when you press these buttons, they move around on screen. They don't stay in the same place. This is infuriating. Hang on. Wait. Wait, what? The, the movement... The the movement icons move when you when you move around. Like imagine if you were playing, I don't know, some CSGO or Call of Duty on your PC, but when you press WASDA to move around, your character doesn't move. Because the WASDA keys they're not there anymore. Oh and uh, by the way, Batman's mobile button related problem, it doesn't end there. Nah, God no. If anything, we're only getting started. Besides these buttons just looking god awful because the Euphoric Brothers don't know how the magic eraser Photoshop tool works, these buttons, you press them, and then nothing happens. To swipe a keycard in this game, or if you want to pick up one of the Appealer Bird's eggs, no joke here, I had to mash these buttons like three or four thousand times to get them to work. At one point, I genuinely thought I was gonna mash my thumb straight through my phone screen. Moving these absolutely dog shit controls to the side for a moment though, I don't know if our Gardener Band Band protagonist scored a world record with every single character in ice skating when he played Mario and Sonic in the 2014 Sochi 
Beijing Winter Olympic Games. Because this person that we play as, when they move, they skate all over the place. Though, this doesn't really make sense. Because how can somebody be so bloody good at skating when they struggle to move their head around? Sure, okay, our character, they must have really bloody strong legs the way they can punch a chair across a room. Hang on. If I walk into the chairs, right, they just go flying. Is that a thing on- is that a thing on PC? Um, I- I, I don't know. Is- I, is it? But if you want to turn around to get a better look at the absolute beauty of the kindergarten of Gardener Ban Ban, if you want to turn the full 360 in Gardener Ban Ban Mobile, the only advice I can give you is, yeah, you better pack some snacks, you're gonna be there for a while. However, while yes, Gardener Ban Ban Mobile is a painful experience to play. I can confirm, I do love getting epilepsy when I try to read things. I injured. I made it through. Thankfully, I have played Badman 1 before, so I knew what I was doing. I, I knew where to go. Kamikaze a drone, get your key cards, force some eggs down the Appealer Bird's throat, Minecraft Hypixel Parkour, the Appealer Bird fucking dies. No, I missed the Appealer Bird fucking dying. Aww. Oh. I miss the bird dying. Me knowing what to do in Gardener Bandman 1, if I'm being completely honest, it was sort of kind of a blessing in a weird way. If I was to put Bandman 1 Mobile into a tier list of Gardener Bandman Mobile games, I'd put it uh, here, B tier, there you go. But me knowing what to do in Gardener Bandman 1, it was also quite the curse, because now that I had finished all 15 odd minutes of Gardener Bandman 1 on my phone pretty bloody easily, it was time for me to move on to the next game in hit video game franchise Gardener Bandman. Garden of Bandman 2. Gardner Ban Ban 2 on your mobile phone is literally impossible. And I'm not saying that there's some hyperbolic joke or some meme. Now, genuinely, this game is unplayable on your phone. Now, uh, I do want to preface this section by saying that going into Ban Ban 2 Mobile, me... I was a very, very grumpy boy. Like most people on the internet at the minute, I have a crippling addiction to a game called Baldur's Gate 3. Really good game, by the way. Like, download it. Give it all of your money. You can become Freddy Fazbear. And before playing and recording God No Bad Man 2 on my mobile phone, I had spent the past two and hours of my life hurling my keyboard around my room because I couldn't beat this fucking annoying bastard called Balthazar. So, yeah, as you can imagine, me mixing my grumpiness with Ban Ban 2 Mobile, I almost had a brain hemorrhage. As we all know, according to the information provided and explained within the larger Gardner Ban Ban series game theory, Gardner Ban Ban won 50 odd minutes. It's a really annoying and shit way to spend 15 minutes of your life, but you can get it over and done with quite quickly without much hassle. Hardest part is trying to find the Appealer Bird's eggs because this game looks absolutely horrible. Gardner Ban Ban 2, on the other hand, this game has a runtime of around two odd hours. Two hours of boring, stupid puzzles, slow-moving elevators, an excessive bloat all purposely designed to make Ban Ban 2 impossible to refund on Steam. On mobile, this game feels even longer, and it's within this excessive, boring, bloat shit where the reason why Ban Ban 2 on mobile is impossible to play resides. As I complained about earlier, Ban Ban 1 mobile's controls are absolutely terrible. But if you think they've got any better in Ban Ban 2, you're about as far away from the truth as humanly possible. In Ban Ban 2 Mobile, the controls are just as bad and unresponsive. If anything, they may be even worse. I, you really have to like mash your... That's me hitting my screen. I don't know if you can hear that. Me trying to get the game to work. Rest in peace, my phone screen. Cause of death being impaled by my thumb. So as you can probably imagine, when you're presented with puzzles and mini games, big quotation marks, mini games that require rather precise movement, like, I don't know, picking up the appealer bird's stupid children. Having controls that fundamentally do not work, it breaks the entire game. In this section of Gardener Band Man 2, you have to run around and gather up all of the appealer bird's ugly, stupid children to, to, I don't know, make an omelette or something. Gotten a ban ban law. On computer, yeah, this is quite the easy thing to do. You walk around, press air to pick up the children, put them in this thing, thanks for coming, boring to do but easy to finish. On mobile though, this is a 
nightmare. First of all, the moving controls are really, really fucking awful, so trying to keep up with the appeal of G Fuel over those tweaking children is insanely difficult. But what breaks this minigame so much is that the interaction hand thumb button, this button, it does not work. You would think that if you press it once, it would interact with something, you know, what it's meant to do. But this button is so unresponsive that the amount of button presses it takes for this button to work becomes completely random. This is annoying as is when something is standing still. Spamming your phone screen trying to move your drone around or swipe your keycob will take years of your life. Now imagine trying to do this in a room full of birds that run around at Mach 10. Oh, and uh, if you do somehow manage to pick up a bird while you're randomly spam clicking, if you pick up the bird and accidentally hit the interaction button again, your character, they drop the bird. Oh, I have to chase after... Oh, no. Oh, shit. This is going to be impossible to do on mobile. You literally cannot... You can't move around fast enough to do this. No joke. I felt physically ill after trying to get this to work. This is impossible. Oh, and uh, do you want to know what else is fun? Having a game that softlocks itself because... Uh, uh, no, you, you press the interaction button too quickly. You, you, you played the game too much. You might get fucked back to the menu or some buy a fucking merch. Is my game broken again? Has it broken... Again? What? You're joking me. Has my game been broken? Let me hang on. Let me, where's the part where he like goes around and injects everybody? Okay, yeah, yeah. I think my game is just broken again. I know the machine needs a certain liquid, but I think your game is broken. I'm going to be completely honest here, person watching this video. Sure, if these games were free, yeah, I would still be annoyed because I had to take time out of my existence to play them, but I wouldn't be straight up pissed off like I am right now. If they were free, I could just uninstall them and go about my day. But Ban Ban 2, it costs real world money. I spent some of my precious hard-earned shekels on this game. A game that does not work. A game that is broken. A game that is impossible to finish. And you want to know something here, person watching this video? Here's some The Beak lore for you. Before playing God in a Ban Ban on mobile, for a while now, I had had this game theory circling around in my head that all of the God in a Ban Ban games were designed to be mobile games. And the Steam versions, the computer versions, were just upscaled ports. But now, after playing these games on my phone, now my theory's been completely disproven. It's been blown out the water, like the average game theory. All the Ban Ban mobile games are are ports taken as is from the computer version. These games were made to be PC games, which is why they don't work on mobile. They're not built to be mobile games. Trying to make me control something that's originally designed to be controlled by something like this with this Plain and simple, this is dog shit. Ban Ban 2 Mobile, it's painfully obvious that this game is just a cash grab. Oh, and remember that tier list of the Ban Ban Mobile games I spoke about earlier? Ban Ban 2 on mobile, fucking Z tier, Shadow Realm tier. Fuck this game. Stupid, fucking annoying, broken shit. Okay. Let's just take a breather here. I'm getting a little bit angry, but it's fine. It's it's in the past now. Wait, what? what, 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 what hang on, what? I have to play Ban Ban Three Mobile now? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> believe I'm actually gonna say this here. Like, going into this video, I never thought these words would ever come out of my mouth. But Ban Ban 3 Mobile, it isn't as bad as Ban Ban 2 Mobile. Okay, sure, warning, nuclear take incoming. It is still a Ban Ban Mobile game, meaning that it's automatically terrible and, and yet being better than Ban Ban 2. <laughs> that's an extremely low bar to get over, like, like that bar all the way down here. But I will give credit where credit is due. If Ban Ban 2 Mobile is the drizzling shit, Ban Ban 3 Mobile is the shit. I really, really regret spending money on this game, but it's not as bad. For starters, remember that interaction button? Why the fuck is this not working problem I was talking about a few seconds ago? Somehow, some way, 
it's been fixed. The hours and the hours I spent bruising my thumb trying to get shit to work in these games, they're past me. I press the button, the button does the thing. Mostly, sometimes it is still a little bit iffy, but 90% of the time it does what it's meant to do. Oh my god, having this button working was an absolute godsend. The amount of shit this singular poorly cropped button put me through in the previous Bam Bam mobile games was... <coughs> <laughs> this button working made Ban Ban 3 somewhat playable. Keyword though, being somewhat. This button working is the bare minimum, and it still doesn't mean that the larger Ban Ban mobile controls are good. Because they're not. Now, I'm not gonna lie here, person watching this video, going into Garden of Ban Ban 3 mobile, I was kind of shitting myself. It wasn't like I was going in without knowing what I was doing or anything. I do have an official speedrun time for this game, but because I knew what I was getting into, I knew that what I was getting into is pretty damn dreadful. Besides having a Souls-like level boss fight against... Uh, Tamataki and Chamataki? A big turtle thing. More. Ban Ban 3 has a lot of different puzzles that require quote unquote precision movement, like making specific jumps and all of that type of stuff. Doing this on keyboard and mouse, simple. I press the space bar and click the air button, I do the jump and swipe the keycard. Doing this on mobile, though, yeah, I, I, I kind of rage quit and sort of kind of threw my phone across my bedroom. I remember this just being like almost impossible to do on fucking PC. Work, you bastard! Yeah, Ban Ban 3, it still suffers from the symptoms of slapping mobile controls onto a game designed for PC-itis. But I reckon that there's a much bigger, much more annoying problem in Ban Ban 3. A problem that can be found in all the other previous Ban Ban games, don't get me wrong here, but it's nowhere near the level of Ban Ban 3. A problem that is emphasized even more when you played this game on your phone. Besides being called Garden of Ban Ban 3, you could also call this game Waiting the video game. Oh yes, it's the worst mechanic in all of these games. Yay! I love the conveyors that isn't clear how it works. In Ban Ban 3, you spend so much of your time waiting to do stuff. All the characters waffle on and on and on and on and on about the story and the lore and the garden Ban Ban and Ban Ban 3. I don't care. Yes, I have had a rough day. I am taking time out of my day to unironically play Garden of Batman 3 Mobile. You sit and wait and wait and wait and wait some more while the train conveyor monorail thing traverses the void as it goes from point A to B. All the minigame and puzzles are boring and slow and the characters all move at 0.5 kilometers per hour. All the hallways and rooms are way too big and take forever to move through. You know what? I reckon that 75% of this game's runtime is spent waiting to do shit. Just like Ban Ban 2, Ban Ban 3, it has a runtime of around two hours. One hour and 15 minutes, waiting. It's all you do. It's brain numbing. What's also brain numbing, besides the way this game looks, that's a ve very, ve very cool, very epic TV filter you put over everything. Truly, video editing is my passion. It's the story of why we're doing what we're doing in Ban Ban 3 and the larger Garden of Ban Ban cinematic universe. War Morning! Garden of Ban Ban spoilers incoming. Now, me, I really don't care about the Garden of Ban Ban story and the larger Garden of Ban Ban cinematic universe. All I know is that we're a parent and we're trying to save our child. Why? I don't know. If I was a parent and my child was locked in the depths of something that looked like this, I'd probably just abandon them. But it's something that we're doing because reasons. The love and bond between parent and child. Nuance, nuance. Wow, this truly is a revolutionary thing to base your story on. No one's ever done that before. Thing is, though, let's say that I was a stupid child who was interested in learning all about the world and lore of God and Banban. All of these games, they do such a shit job of telling me the story of God and Banban. It's all just poorly voiced acted exposition dumps and a bunch of scattered papers around the place. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if my character has a name. I don't know the gender of my character. I don't know why my child has come to this place. I don't know why the monsters, Jumbo, Josh, Stinger, Flynn, all of them, I don't know why they're evil. Why are we doing what we're doing? But okay, cool. Like, I, I get it. I completely understand. Making things purposefully vague means, ooh, MatPat Game Theory could make a gaming theorizing video on it. But, oh, my God. 
god, this is such a shit way to tell a story. And when it comes to bad storytelling, Banban 3, it's the worst. It's the most guilty out of all of the different Banban games. There are parts in this game where characters just talk forever. I don't care! And it seems like the voice actors reciting these lines, they don't care either. Imagine, imagine if I made a video where I read my script like- Hello. Welcome to my video. Today we are talking about Garden of Banban. Ban. Boring! It's boring! As I said earlier though, Banban Ban 3 Mobile is slightly better than Banban Ban 2 Mobile. At least this game, at least it kinda works. And in my Banban Ban Mobile tier list thing, I reckon that I'm gonna put it right here. C tier. But if you think we're done shitting on the Garden of Banban Ban Mobile games, you've got another thing coming, mate. Now, now it's time to move on to the fourth level of hell. Garden of Banban Ban. Four. Okay, person watching this video, I've kind of made a little bit of a mistake. I I've sort of misjudged the rate at which the Euphoric Brothers pump out Garden of Banban. Ban. At the time of me recording this video, Garden of Banban Ban 4 was unleashed into our world three days ago, I streamed it on my channel two days ago, and I thought that when Banban Ban 4 was released, I thought that the mobile game was going to be released alongside it. In the past, this has seemed to be the norm with the Euphoric Brothers. Game comes out, mobile game comes out, it's a fact of life. Yeah, um, I... Yeah, I, I was wrong. At the time of me recording this video, Gardner Ban Ban 4, it hasn't come to mobile yet. So, in this section of this video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of this. I am willing to bet my ass that by the time I release this video, Banban Ban 4, it will be on mobile. Do I think Banban Ban 4 is going to be amazing? Will it single-handedly change the way I feel about God ninking of Banban Ban on the mobile phone? Or will it be shit? Like all of these games. I reckon that it's gonna be somewhere here in the middle, because Banban Ban 4, it really isn't like any of the other Banban Ban games, which means it could, keyword there could, be an okay mobile game, for the most part. Help me! You're fucking joking me. If you're not like me and you haven't bought Garden of Banban Ban 4, firstly, I, I I really, really envy you. Genuinely, you're a lot smarter than I am. All of these games are getting more and more expensive, meaning that they're burning an even bigger hole in my wallet that just keeps on getting bigger and, and, and bigger and fucking bigger. But secondly, you may not know what Garden of Ban Ban 4 is like as a video game. Plain and simple, Garden of Ban Ban 4 is a dead stranding clone. For 99% of this game, besides looking at kangaroo toes, you're gonna be walking from point A to point B. Though, unfortunately, there is no designated consume monster energy button. Zero out of ten fucking bad game. Now, there are a few puzzles in this game. It's not like it's a garden of ban ban game or anything, but these puzzles, they aren't anything too crazy, and I reckon that, yeah, they can be done on a mobile device without too much of a headache. Unlike whatever this shit is, Use your brain. Spell out the word. Put the small bird on the button. This thing, this creature is called Little Beak. Little Beak. Am I getting to the ban ban first? Wait, Little Beak. Wait, Little Beak. Am I fucking canon to go to Ban Ban? <laughs> when Ban Ban 4 eventually comes to mobile and it contracts slapping mobile controls onto a game designed for PC-itis, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as the previous Ban Ban mobile games because this game is simpler than those games. With all that being said though, there is one part that I know it, it, it's just not gonna work properly on mobile. It's gonna be an absolute shit fest to get through. That part being the Dark Souls boss fight at the end of this game. Towards the end of Ban Ban 4, you have to fight and evade this thing. And to beat it, you have to run it into different walls with lights on them that hang from the ceiling. Bane from Arkham Origins. However, this boss fight is... <coughs> For some reason, this 
creature, this abomination. It's got its own gravitational pull that rivals the gas giant Jupiter in strength. You'll be nowhere near it. You'll be across the room from it. But then for some reason, you'll just get sucked in and jump scared. Game over. Lamar will get fucked, did you? That and this... I want to say fox dinosaur thing. He's, yeah, it's pretty quick. Like, like he skedaddles around quite a bit. He'll catch up to you in no time. And you can't really predict his charge kamikaze attack thing because it just doesn't really work all that well. Beating this boss fight on stream the other night, it was quite an annoying thing to do. Not because it's hard, but because the mechanics are really... Uh, so I can imagine using Ban Ban Mobile's terrible controls, this boss fight is going to be super terrible to finish. Hell, not even terrible to finish. Terrible to attempt. I guess we'll have to wait and see, though. Uh, I'm not really holding our high hopes, but yeah, we'll have to see. I do have to put it somewhere in my mobile band band tier list, though. I think I'm going to put it here. And here are the final rankings for this tier list. Band band 1, B tier. Band band 2, uh, Band band 3, C tier. And band band 4, whatever this tier is called. And with that, I finally finished playing all of the Garden of Bad Bad mobile games. Thank God. <laughs> this whole Garden of Bad Bad mobile experience, it took years of my life. It was fucking horrendous. Curse of watching this video. Do not, do not buy these games. Do not buy them. They are all terrible video games. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. If you've been, let's say, following along with my channel for a while now, person watching this video, I'm pretty sure you know that every now and then I make a more, let's say, traditional commentary video. My most recent video like this was my Lanky Box video from a few months ago. You lot really seemed to like that video. Like, oh my god, thank you so much. The support on that video was insane. So good news. I've got another video like that in the works. I've been cooking up something in the background regarding a very, very interesting channel at the minute. This video, it's gonna be my next video. So it's gonna come out in like two odd weeks from the time I release this video, from the one that you're watching right now. And let me tell you something, yeah? Oh my God, I'm, I'm so excited to get this video out. I think it's gonna be really good. So stay tuned for that. Oh, and uh, by the way, the support on my channel recently has been absolutely insane from normal videos to streaming it's it's just been wild so thank you so much and while you're still here listening to all of these words coming out of my mouth person watching this video why don't you why don't you go watch all of my other videos and all of their adverts i really like money number 15 subscribe to the beak if you don't you will suffer a severe case of cringe and you are taking part in bozo behavior thanks for watching